Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about Weekend League Rewards, the first set of Summer Heat Weekend League Rewards with the, I don't know what you call it, like the best of releases uh, is coming out today. So I want to talk about what Weekend League Rewards could do to the market in the next few hours uh, or as you're watching this video when it comes out. And then, uh, of course, in the Thursday as well. Thursday is a usual pretty big content day. We have the either the Firmino or the James Rodriguez SBC is coming today as well, so I'll talk about that a little bit. And specifically, look back at some of the market movements from last week. I'm going to talk about what happened last week and how I could feel that uh, could be you know, repeated this week as well. But again, it is Thursday. It is rewards day, so good luck in your, your rewards if you're opening them. This is a very interesting day for FIFA, right? Because this is the first set of the Summer Heat Weekend League rewards where it's basically all special cards are in the elite packs and above and also red picks now if you don't know the exact things and rewards i'll drop that down below in the comments if you're looking to see that link that tells you what rewards are but basically there's going to be a lot of 90 plus cards uh in rewards today gold two and above you're guaranteed a 90 plus in one of your player pick choices and then uh in your elite three plus pack all of your players in that pack are guaranteed to be 90 plus we have tots cards that are going to be a part of this we've got for birthdays we've basically got the whole shebang as they would say in rewards today a lot of cards and rewards and this is this is something that's like pretty new to be honest with you this is something that's very very new last year i think is what what they did is they just kept team of the seasons in rewards and they just put the past special cards back into packs but this year they're putting past special cards into rewards as well so i'm very interested to see what happens with the market this week and I think it can go either one of two ways today with rewards and I think this is the most most important thing about rewards today is uh, where you can actually put some money and some of your coins during rewards to make some cash and then also like should you be buying cards before during or after rewards definitely not after but either before or during is kind of what the time from time frame I'm looking at so let's talk about some of these team of the seasons right these cards are technically going to get supplied during rewards today the big question, and this is this is why people are going to look at rewards this week and kind of like uh, this is going to be like the trial week for weekend league rewards for this foot birthday batch, not foot birthday, for this summer heat batch of cards that are coming out, right? So if people see rewards today are juiced, there's foot birthday cards, a lot of team of the seasons, a lot of, you know, decent pack weight from the rewards today, whether it's in reds, whether it's in the elite packs and stuff like that. If EA juices it a little bit, that's going to make people want to go out and continue to play Weekend League and you might see a, a bit of a higher rise in the market just because people see rewards are good and they want to take part in that. Hopefully, that's how it is because that means more, more money for us on the market and just more fun, right? If Weekend League rewards are good, it's just more fun for the game. So hopefully they are good. If they're not good, I still think you'll see a market rise today, but maybe a little bit less. I just can't imagine that a lot of these team of the season cards are going to get supplied that much. And I feel like the supply when it does come today during rewards is going to be a quick little like burst in the first two to three hours. And then you're going to see stuff start to trickle up into the rest of the day with, with all special cards, honestly, foot birthdays. Uh, some of this stuff actually heading into rewards. If we're talking from a meta card standpoint, this Sissoko was 220,000 coins earlier this morning. He is up. Um, Lucas Hernandez is up looking at some of these cards right now that I've been kind of watching during the day today. Some of these cards have actually started to trickle up in price a little bit as we near the rewards time frame. People not really selling off. Lacazette's 309. He was 275 earlier today. Pogba's about the same. Uh, that's a couple cards that I was looking at. You can still find some deals before awards today, and I'll talk about that. Uh, right now at the moment too. look for some links to like the Firmino SBC that could be coming today and, and then also just you know icons right if there's one safe I guess place where you could maybe put some coins today uh, you could look at some icons because technically these icons are not getting supplied today any more than a normal week right these guys are in packs but the unlike the special cards they're in packs every week so this the icons are kind of the quote-unquote safe way and if you go out and find some deals on the market um there's probably some deals out there to be completely honest i bought a figo today i'm just trying this one out because honestly 340 isn't a terrible price for him that's kind of where he's been all week 
And we have the Bruno Fernandez. So maybe if some people need link investments to their Bruno Fernandez, maybe they'll get some some Portuguese goodness in there with Luis Figo. Not entirely sure. But a lot of the other things that I have on my transfer list are linking to that Firmino SBC that should be coming today. And that is another thing that we'll talk about a little bit uh, in this video as well towards the end is what kind of effect the Firmino SBC could have if that does come out. So I've got like a hodgepodge group of guys, you know, with my only like what, three and a half, four million coins right now. I'm low, man. I'm low on coins. But um, I do still think you're going to see a market rise today because the amount of coins that are still going to be put on the market is going to be pretty sizable. And these TOTS cards continue to get rarer and rarer for birthdays, get rarer as people are leaving the game and they're not playing as much anymore. And those cards are staying in their clubs and they're just not getting listed up. And that just causes rarity on the market, which is what we're starting to see. Like uh, this Carlos Alberto earlier today, there was literally right now there's like a, a page of him listed up, but Earlier today, there were literally four Carlos Alberto baby cards on the PlayStation 4, the PS market. There were four of them in total in the middle of the day today. That's crazy that that little amount of supply for a card like that. I know he's been out of packs for a long time, but still, that's a crazy low amount of supply. So again, rewards today, I feel like is going to be interesting. And I feel like we're going to get a gauge for what happens with the market in the first two hours of week and league rewards depending on like what the drop rate is for a lot of these cards and just what it's kind of going to end up looking like is what I'm really, really curious to see today. Now, this is the biggest point that I want to make from the video today, and I've been talking about this all week, but it's really, really, really starting to show up. And uh, this is this is somewhere where if I can get some coins tomorrow early on, I'm going to be looking at a lot of this stuff as a possible investment, a very, very possible investment. That's the wrong Morales. I'm just going to go Mitrovic. Uh, I'm looking at 92 rated team of the season cards at the moment. Looking at high rated TOTS cards because these guys are down a lot. High rated TOTS cards like 88s, 89s, and above. These guys are down a bunch. These guys are down seriously a lot because what happened was uh, the demand for the Prime Icon SBC is down. And these guys are kind of get for getting a little bit forgotten about right now at the moment. But... What is not being forgotten about is that Prime Icon SBC is still in the game. And SBCs are the name of the game right now as well. We've got a Firmino SBC that could be coming out today. If there is anything higher than like an 86 or 87 rated squad, if they do an 88 rated squad or maybe an even an 89 for Firmino, guys like this are going to go up a decent amount. So this is my tip to you guys today. If you want to make a quick coin and if you're available to be on the market during weekend league rewards, Watch the price of fodder team of the season cards. Fodder team of the season. Why team of the season? They're technically out of packs. They're only going to get supplied, if any little bit, at weekend league rewards. And these guys just keep dropping. Again, let's look at Gabriel. I've just looked at him. He was about 75,000 coins, 70K on the market. This dude was 90,000 coins on the weekend, right? The Icon SBC came out on Friday of last week, I think. Thursday or Friday of last week. He was up to 88,000 coins on the weekend. If you want some proof, this is my video from last week. Look at these 92 rated cards. They are all 80,000, 90,000 coins apiece. Mitrovic, 91K. Hamdala, 90K. Tevez, 90K. If we look at those right now, if we look at these cards right now on the market, Hamdala is 65K. Crusoe is 66K. So I, I don't know if these guys will go all the way back up to 90,000 coins where they were last weekend. But I could very easily see a lot of these guys in the mid 80,000 coin range this weekend for the 92s, the 91s. This Erickson was 77K. I sold one last weekend, 77K. He's down to 57. Rossi, 60K. Um, you know, like this Mateus Perea, I was selling him at almost 90,000 coins last Saturday. So I do think there's a possibility with the Firmino SBC coming today or James Rodriguez, but I think it's got to be Firmino. Um, with that, either of those two high value SBCs coming out today. Also, if it is James or if it's Firmino, it's going to be super hyped and a lot of people are going to want to do it. And then just people getting coins from rewards and wanting to go out and, and do that prime icon upgrade SBC, because that's kind of going to be the menu content that people look to grind on the weekend. So that is kind of what I would I would say to watch this weekend. Honestly, it seems kind of crazy to think about trading with SBC fodder on a weekend 
you know, with weekend league rewards and such being out in the game. But honestly, I think that's going to be a really, really good shout today, especially if there is a little bit of supply that comes out onto the game with these TOTS cards um, from rewards. If there's a little bit of supply, that's honestly perfect. Maybe you could catch a little bit of that, buy a couple of those cards, and then uh, flip them later on Thursday night and Friday night for some profit. So watch like the 90 to 94 rated team of the season cards that could get supplied today. Again, just to show you guys another graph, let's take a look at a 94 Van de Beek, right? You've seen me trade with this guy, 99,000 coins at the moment. He's under 100K. He was 115. That's actually not even true. He was 120 and multiple times last weekend. So again, 120, 115 to 120 all week. He might be 90,000 coins or 95 on a snipe during rewards as he's, he could get packed you know, a slight bit of supply. And then boom, this guy probably goes back up to 110,000 coins on the weekend. So watch your SBC fodder, especially in the higher rateds today during rewards. For the rest of the market, let's say you're looking at just some foot birthdays, some team of the seasons, weekend league, Thursday flipping type stuff. What happened last week? Again, I was, I was referencing my video from last week talking about this. Last week on Thursday was a big time content day. It was a big time content day on the market. Um, for the SBCs that came out last Thursday. Um, and I think that's not going to be, it's going to be the same this week. Today, Thursday is going to be a pretty, pretty hype day for content with the SBCs that could be coming out. Uh, and that, what that means is there could be a little bit of panic around that 6 PM timeframe. If you remember last week, I bought like 10 to 15 of the Bruno Fernandez winter refresh card. It was in packs. Yes. In packs getting supplied. But the reason why I bought that card was because it was weekend leagues time. People were um, selling this card because it was getting packed tradable from the tradable pack supply as it was in packs. And then people were buying that card back for their weekend league. Now this Bruno Fernandez is in the absolute gutter right now because of the objective Bruno Fernandez that is out the 94 rated, which do, we do need to talk about in this video. Is this guy really a 50 K? Wow. He dropped a ton, but um, watch some of those cards that are in packs that are still very, very usable for a lot of people's uh, weekend league teams. The one that comes to mind right away is Vinicius Jr. My boy Vinicius right now on the market is 90K, 95K, less than 90K. G Wait, no, this guy's in the 80s, surely. Yeah, 85, 81,000 coins for Vinicius Jr. He's going to get supplied today from rewards a little bit. I might even be able to flip this one if I really wanted to, but this guy's going to get supplied today from rewards a little bit. But last week, this is the exact type of card that is meta enough, cheap enough, and very usable for a lot of people on FIFA, that this is type the type of card that you could see if there's a any panic, right? Any panic around the SBC coming out for Firmino today, this would be the type of guy, you know, meta, popular, even if it's in packs, there's a possibility if there's panic and a pack supply SBC that comes out today, you see a bit of a dip and then a bit of a rise after that. Another person that I would be, I would say to be a, a solid one to try to mess around with some of that would be headliner Timo Werner. This is a card that I traded with because uh, on Wednesday, he dipped down to 87, 88,000 coins and rose back up to almost 100,000 coins the next day uh, into Wednesday. So watch like a headliner Timo Werner. I think right now he's pretty cheap. Shapeshifter Lucas, um, Shapeshifter, even like Shapeshifter um, Trent Alexander-Arnold's a really, really cheap card, but that's the kind of card you might want to look at today if there is some supply and panic around that 6 p.m. time frame. But if you're selling your Thursday flips, right? Thursday flip sell time, in my opinion, for a lot of these cards that I'm going to be flipping this week, a lot of these cards, they did not hit their highest prices until Friday. Thursday night or Friday is when a lot of these cards, icons, uh, icons were a bit messy last week because of the prime icon SBC, but a lot of these cards hit their max price Thursday night or Friday. Like Lala was 330. He was 370 Thursday night. Uh, Hakimi. No, one of the, some other guy, some other guy that I was looking at last week was, um, actually it was Upa Makano last week. Upa Makano Thursday, uh, went up a little bit after rewards. Then he went back down during the panic. Uh, and then he skied, he skied into the nighttime with, um, people buying their weekend league team. So what, maybe watch a card like this tomorrow, go up a little bit with rewards, maybe fall back down a slight bit during that 6 PM content time frame, and then going up later into the evening. So I would say you've got time to sell your cards tomorrow on the market. If you're doing some Thursday flips 
with that kind of stuff. So that's my kind of yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on the market with rewards today. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, everybody is pumped about this. All my United fans are loving this in the chat. Another very grindable Summer Heat fan favorite, right? This is available for 22 days. You can probably overlap some of the Mendy if you haven't finished him, which is me. If you haven't finished Mendy yet, you could probably overlap some of the challenges possibly uh, to get this Bruno Fernandez, but it is a bit of a grind, but it is a really, really good looking card. If you want to check the in-game stats, I'm sure you guys have seen it, but as you can tell by the amount of upvotes on Footbin, this is a very, very popular player. And I'm kind of glad they gave him one because he, he needed a special card. He needed another, another special card. This is a perfect promo for EA to sauce up another Man United special card. Slap a sniper on him, and he's a beastly looking center attack in mid or center forward. Uh, that's a, even an engine, too, would, do, would uh, go good if you really want to max out. Uh, you know, don't worry about the shooting and max out the passing and the, the dribbling and the pace as much as you can. So that's a sick card. Big time GG's for EA. Just for this whole, just for this whole, like, I don't know what you'd call this, like the content, like this whole ideology of uh, just being able to grind a player like this, this would be so used during, this is kind of like icon swaps before you're actually getting a player that you know what you're going to be getting. Um, and it's not an icon. It's it's like a, a boosted Bruno, I don't know. I think this, this, uh, the fan favorites thing with this uh, season objectives grind for Mendy for Bruno Fernandez is absolutely fantastic. And I hope, hopefully they carry this over into FIFA 21 some way, somehow. But again, re rewards today are what I want to focus on the most. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what moves around the 6 p.m. content or 1 p.m. Eastern content today. Uh, we are going to be losing the Paris HSBC tomorrow. So if you haven't finished that, make sure you go out and do that one. And then the upgrade SBCs are only out until the weekend. And I think that's kind of the only notable thing for the like SBCs. Again, we're getting like a pack supply SBC every day. Today, we got the Frankenstein monster. That was a tradable one. Uh, I haven't even done some of these. There's still, there's still SBCs that I have not completed. But I would expect to get another one of those today as well. EA is trying to supply the fodder as much as they can. Uh, but, but honestly, in, in all seriousness, I would look to see maybe some link investments today um to that Firmino SBC because I do really think that's going to be coming out and then also just look for some cheap special cards on the market like I started looking at this Emerson because last week he went from 49 50,000 coins all the way up to the mid 60s on Friday on Saturday just because uh the lack of like right backs and center backs right now for the summer heat promo uh, and you can see this with like team of the season card prices as well we're really lacking special cards in the right back position and in the center back position. So a lot of icons are up and a lot of tots cards are up that are from those positions. I would expect those to be uh, really good movers again this weekend. So I'm watching this this uh, this Emerson card. If I can snag a few like in the under 47, 46,000 coin range, I would be a big time fan of, of that. Snagging some of these guys on bid tonight before rewards because this is like a small kind of card that might get supplied a little bit of rewards today, but he's only 85 rated. So it'll be really, again, rewards today is going to be very interesting to see what happens with some of these cards that are barely going to be supplied only through uh, tradable packs. And even an Emerson is not going to be uh, supplied tradable. The only cards that are going to be supplied tradable that are not in packs from rewards. So like your TOTS cards and your um, your future stars and stuff like that, it's only going to be 90 plus because those are only tradable versions uh, and those are only available through Elite Plus packs. So again, 90 plus cards are the ones that I'm kind of worried about. But again, just to drive home the point, that's why I'm really, really fond of these high rated SBC fodder cards like this Hamdala, like the Max Crusa, just because people are not going to stop doing the Icon SBCs uh, they're going to continue to do these still. And if this guy is in like the low 60s again, he's a very rare card. Uh, same thing with the Crusa. I think these guys with a little bit of supply today, because they are going to get supplied tradable. They're above 90 rated rating. Uh, these are the types of guys that could be big money later on in the weekend as we get more SPCs coming. And more people want to get their coins from rewards and go do a, um, a prime icon upgrade SBC. So that's kind of feel how I am feeling about the weekly rewards market. Good luck if you've got rewards. I've got rewards as well myself. I'll be streaming those live on Twitch. That link is down below in the description at some point on Thursday evening 
as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.